Welcome to the SDA Snapshot Plugin Tutorial. This snapshot has become available in the latest version of SDA 5.1.6 and snapshots themselves represent a very powerful and effective way of managing and organizing applications, processes, components and so forth. And with this new snapshot it allows the user to harness the power of snapshots to an even greater level of flexibility. So with an SDA we're going to look at a quick usage scenario for the snapshot plugin. Within an existing application I will simply go to my application process. We can see it has a install component process. I'm now going to add an additional snapshot step. So here within the application process I can actually create a snapshot. So I do this automatically so I'm going to call this step create snap. The snapshot name will be unique because we've already pre-populated it but with the unique date and time. So I'll just give this a prefix of snap1. Link this up, save it and we're ready to use the snapshot plugin. So I simply request the process, so I'm going to select a revision and as normal the process will be called and we can see there's an additional line as well as installing the component version 2 we can see that there is an additional line here create snapshot so an additional snapshot has now been created and indeed if I go back to the application I look at snapshots here we can see the snapshots being created with its own unique timestamp and within the snapshot we can see that this has used the component version from VFS1 version 2 in addition to creating snapshots we can also modify this application process by simply going to the process again and we can add in an additional step there are two other steps add status to snapshots and remove status from snapshot in this case we're just going to add a status to the snapshot that's going to be created in this case we are going to use the snapshot from the step name so there's three different options there so you can use the request snapshot so if we were to deploy out based upon a snapshot we could use that option or we could use a snapshot that's been created in the past or we can use a snapshot that's been created on a particular step name which is the one we're going to use here so my step name as we can see is create snap so I'll go ahead and define that and I've defined a status of dev now just to remind you the status itself is actually defined so I'll just save this first off this status has actually been defined under administration automation statuses and here we can see there's different snapshot statuses have already been defined so you may need to define these prior to um, defining that add status step but let's go back now and let's now request that application I'm going to redeploy version 2 again so I've unchecked uh, only change versions and let's now see what happens in addition to installing the components we can see that there is a create snapshot so it's created another new snapshot with a timestamp dependent name and we can see that it's added the status dev to this snapshot so if we just dive in look at the snapshots the latest snapshot that's been created is this one here we can go in and we can see that the status has been added to this snapshot as well and again we've created against version 2 
So that is a quick look at the snapshot plugin and you would do well to make use of this plugin and make use of the power of the snapshots. Recommended reading material would not only be the associated getting started guide but this um, blog here on Serena Central that talks about the power of snapshots created by Kevin Lee. Well worth reading into if you're not familiar with snapshots. Thank you for taking time and watching this video.